Hi, this is Mike and Lauren with Hamburg Honey. Today we're out at the apiary and we're going to be putting on uh, some Formic Pro onto the hives. Um, a lot of beekeepers are kind of um, leery to use Formic Pro because it does have a reputation of damaging brood and queens. Uh, but if you follow the application instructions, it has no different um, application rules for the heat than any other product you're going to use. And any product you're going to use does have the potential to, to damage a queen or damage your brood. So uh, we've used Formic Pro before. It works pretty good. Um, the application instructions are pretty explicit. They say that um, on the day of application, it cannot be above 85 degrees. And then for the next three days after that, it cannot go above 92 degrees. Um, I like to stay a little bit cooler than that. I just say um, for when we apply, I don't like it to be above 86 degrees for the entire application period. Um, some places in the country that's basically impossible to do um, this time of year, but we're um, reaching towards northern Wisconsin. So there is some breaks during the summer that we can actually use it. Um, a lot of other places in the country, it's a good option for late in the fall or early in the spring. So. One thing you also have to watch out for is the, um, the hive cannot have less than six full frames of bees and brood in it, um, otherwise it's too small for the application. There's two ways you can do it. You can use one strip for 10 days and then reapply another strip for 10 days, or you can use two full strips for 14 days. Um, most of the time it's easier for us just to use the two strips for 14 days. It's a lot less labor, fewer times you have to get into the hive. and and uh, it's just easier overall. So we will uh, get started here. One thing you have to make sure of as well is that um, if you have a screen bottom board, the board has to be in. Also for your entrance, you have to have half an inch entrance, at least the entire width of the hive. You can't have on entrance reducers or anything else like that. Otherwise it'll keep too much of that vapor inside and damage the bees. So we'll get started here. And that's one of the nice things about the, these polystyrene hives. Um, they're generally made so that you can put wooden ware right on top of it, they're, they're interchangeable. So I wanted to have this colony draw out another box of um, frames for me. So we, we put the nine combs in here. Uh, we took one empty comb and we put them in the bottom and then we took one full frame of bees and brood and brought it up here. And what that does is it forces all the nurse bees and everyone else to come up um, and cover this and then they're more likely to draw out these frames. So I just need to grab a hive tool. I'll check how these are doing, seeing if they're drawing this stuff out. It's been about a week uh, since I put this on here and there has been uh, a nectar flow, the basswood flow is going on. Um, as you can see, they're drawing it out pretty well. I have to watch out for the queen here because she could absolutely be up here and laying, which is fine. Just have to be cognizant of that that fact. So this is Guinevere's hive. This, yep, this is Guinevere. Uh, she is marked in blue. She's one of our bred queens from last winter or last year, I should say. She overwintered really well. And let's see. Yeah, they have this one almost drawn out as well. They have a bunch of nectar stored in here already. So looks like they're doing really well on drawing this out. That's really all I need to see here. Uh, when you apply the Formic Pro, if you have a double brood chamber, you have to put it in, in between the two brood boxes. If you have a single brood chamber, you just lay it across the top. So, get this opened up. Set my box across the lid here so I don't crush any bees. And I will lay the form of Pro straight across there. I should probably have a knife to do this. But my hive tool is generally pretty sharp. Now one thing when you use this form of Pro, it is a natural organic product. 
but it, it has a very strong smell. Um, so you don't want to breathe it in. So what you normally want to do is stand downwind of it. So the wind is blowing a little bit from the east today. So I'll stand up on this side of it. And you unwrap the foil pack. And these are your two pads you put on there. They come apart like this. And I'll smoke the bees down just a little bit so I don't squish any. And you lay them straight across the brood chamber like this. Now this treatment will last 14 days. Um, the really nice thing about the Formic Pro is it will actually kill the mites inside of the cap cells. So all the other treatments out there, the Apigard, the Apistan strips, um, even the, the oxalic acid vapor, they don't kill any mites that are, that are inside the capped brood. This actually does. So it's a really nice product if you learn how to use it. Um, it is just as safe for the bees as any other product you can use. You just have to closely follow the instructions. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys today. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Subscribe if you like and get out there and enjoy your bees. Thanks.